what is up you guys today we're actually going to be installing uh aftermarket turbo timer on a 2g dsm and um yeah to be specific we're going to install the copy of the pexi pen wow. style uh. sorry i had to say i just wanted to hear it in the background oh okay fine. <laughs> so yeah i'm going to be installing that uh ryan's gonna assist and also jacob they're gonna supervise um as i go along for this install for the turbo timer so yeah let's get it So this is actually what we're going to be installing. It's not genuine, honest, honestly, but it's very similar. Um, I had good luck in the past. The only thing I don't like is when you actually kick the key back, sometimes the RPMs will go up and then they come back down. That's the biggest flaw, but it works just like how normal a Pexi uh, turbo timer should. One thing to note, I'm going to be doing uh, quote unquote a plug and play harness. This just goes to your ignition switch. And this goes right here to the turbo timer. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so out of the box, this is what you get. You got your pan style turbo timer here. And then you have this box that sends a signal or this actually plugs into the box here. And like I mentioned, your plug and play harness. I actually got this off eBay. I believe it's actually um, a universal plug and play harness for the Evo, Outlander and Eclipse, as far as I know. Okay, there could be m more other cards, but uh, those are the cards that I know for sure that will work on, like plug and play to your ignition switch. Also, you have uh, these wires here that you're gonna have to tap. All right, so the three wires I just showed you, which me, which uh, they were the black, the white, and the gray wire. As you guys can see, the gray wire goes to the e-brake, and then the black wire is actually gonna go to chassis ground. The the white wire i'm actually not gonna use on the dsm okay that's what the white band is for so i'm not gonna use that i'm actually gonna snip that off and uh yeah let's get it all right one of the downfalls from for um you know getting this uh chinese aftermarket apexi pen uh turbo timer the thing is the plug and play harness is not really plug and play and i say that because this actually doesn't line up it looks like it might want to but it doesn't the good thing is they're all color coded so you know red goes with red green go goes with green and blue goes with blue and that's what i ended up doing right here okay it's still considered a plug and play because you can technically remove this portion here and then if you want to add uh a real turbo timer later down the road you can just tap into these three wires here um, and that's pretty much it honestly all right so here's some of the stuff that we're gonna have to remove obviously we're gonna have to remove this here okay that's pretty much almost off twist off the shifter knob take this out of the way take this out take it all together if you can boom there's two phillips screws right here and then if your car has all the phillips screws uh you're gonna have some back here here and then right behind the seat i don't think you guys can see it that well but there's one living here in this general area and then on the other side as well so i'm gonna go ahead and do that remove all that stuff and then i'll be back Another thing to note, you're gonna need the flat head screwdriver right here, pop this off. There's gonna be a Phillips screwdriver. For the majority of the time, there's a Phillips screwdriver uh, screw in the back here. And also all the way back here, you guys can't see, I'm sorry about the lighting, but there's actually one all the way at the back. So you wanna get rid of this panel here. Okay. All right, once you remove this panel here on the bottom, before you actually even try pulling this up, you, what you want to do is actually disconnect the cigarette lighter. There's going to be a total of uh, two connections. And then, so you have your power here, your power wire. That's the blue one here, right in the center. 
And then the outside one is going to be the black wire that's for ground. And then there's going to be a twist off light. Okay, here at the very bottom, twist it to the left, take it out. And that's it. Okay, you don't have to worry about these wires tugging anywhere or uh, stretching them if you don't need to. Okay, uh, then after that, pretty much if you have everything removed, like as far as the screws, we got the screws here on this side here and as well on the other side, on the passenger side. Uh, we didn't remove the other panel um because we don't really need to honestly so what you want to do is obviously have the e-brake lift it up and then pull this up entire thing up and it comes out just like so okay i'll put this right here for now okay so now what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna pop this tab out and we're gonna pop this guy out okay you just want to be really careful because some of these tabs are a little fragile now um, behind there there's a 10 millimeter bolt here and also right here okay and uh, underneath underneath there's one right here and then there should be another one back over here in this area okay all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, unscrew these guys and pop these guys out and I'll be back once this drops to the floor or close to the floor okay all right so i got that down and like i said it's just the total of four screws uh four bolts actually now i'm gonna work in work on the steering column and get this cover off and in order for you to remove it you got a total of three phillips head screws one two and one back here one two three so i'm gonna go ahead and focus on that and i'll be back all right so we got the two covers off top and the bottom what we need to do is actually we're going to work on this guy right here at the very bottom. This is the ignition switch. So there's a clip on the other side. You can't see it, obviously. Right now you can't see it. But you're going to have to pinch it and then push this thing out. Once you do, then um, you can actually hook it up uh, to the plug and play harness here. Uh, you're going to hook it up to one of these ends. And the other end is going to hook right back up um, in, in, into the ignition switch, okay? So just something for you guys to be aware about. All right, so there you go. And then we're gonna plug it in to this guy here, like so. Plug that guy in. And then after that, the other end, like I mentioned before, this other end is actually gonna go um, back to the ignition switch okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay. and make sure it clips or it clicks and that's pretty much it for now now what we're going to do is find a good spot for this uh, for this little box here. We're going to find a hood, good spot underneath the steering column somewhere over here and zip tie it. Okay, so once I do that, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to actually tuck this box underneath over here where the OBD2 connector is at. I'm going to tuck it that way, but before I do, I'm actually going to plug in the turbo timer. I'm going to plug it in. To this connector here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and have the turbo timer in the general area where we're gonna be placing it okay all right so I got one of the two wires the ground wire connected uh, as you guys can see here and then um, yeah I just grounded it off right here is a pretty good spot to get ground and then after that we do have that gray wire which is actually we're not gonna we're not gonna um, cut the wire we're gonna splice or cut and splice if you will so it's gonna go it's gonna lead to this wire here okay so I got the ground wire hooked up this is actually a pretty good spot you could put it right here um, now after after the ground wire we're gonna actually tap into the e-brake cable signal and that's gonna be to this wire here you're gonna 
tap into here you're not gonna cut and you know delete the the signal you're just gonna splice into here um, and that's gonna lead to the gray wire from the turbo timer okay that's pretty much the last wire that we're gonna be hooking up uh, for this install all right so I ended up mounting it right here just with some double-sided tape I know it could be better but this is actually what what uh, what we ended up uh, going with he can relocate it the owner can relocate it if he likes it in a different position but this is what we're going with and uh yeah so that's pretty much it um as far as uh installing uh aftermarket turbo timer apexi hks as long as the wiring colors are the same they should go to the same signal and even if they're not just as long as you you know cross reference uh which wire goes to the e-brake and which wire is ground all the other wires are pretty mu pretty much self-explanatory so yeah um if they if this video kind of helped you out in some way somehow some way uh, drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already all right i'll catch you guys out in the next one